awesome. Drink it, Mia. Okay, now for the fun part. Who was number one, huh? Me. Okay, righty, there you go. All right, keep catching up. Good job. Coach? Yes? I'm not feeling well. Oh, we'll, we'll be done here in a minute, okay? No, really, I can't wait. What's wrong, Mia? Stomach hurt. May I be excused, please? Mia, I... Coach, Mia really is sick. Can we take her to the restroom? I'll take her. She's my best friend. Maybe we should all go. Uh, you all want to? Yeah, wait. <coughs> um, are you okay, Mia? She will be. In time. You guys put something in that water. Is that so? I bet you're wondering why we didn't get sick this time. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb. You're the one that's been making everyone sick. She is not. Yes, she is. Tell her, Mia. Tell her how you made everybody sick. Mia, what are they talking about? I have no idea. I would listen if I were you, Riley. Let Mia tell you how she made everyone sick. Even you. Her best friend. Don't listen to them, Riley. I'm going to need an explanation. I had to leave a very important staff meeting for this. Taylor says she knows how everyone got sick. It was Mia. It was not me. Why would she do that? Besides, she got sick twice herself. Explain that, Vivian. She was faking? Making accusations like that is very serious. I hope you girls have some proof. Me too. Oh, we do. I'm listening. The other day I was collecting lab notes, and Mia's writing is so perfect. She puts this little squiggly on her letter A's. We were looking at the notes in our room, and I saw that squiggle. Prove it. Anyone who copied my squiggle. Not me. True. Okay. You're gonna need some more proof than that. I mean, I, she's right. Anyone could copy her handwriting, except Riley. What about this for starters? Abby said that the person who was doing this must have been getting something from it. So I remembered something. Someone's making a lot of money off these machines. Hey, Dad. So, we figured 
out that the only person who would be able to gain anything from this was a person who owned the vending machines. And I did some checking online, and all the machines in the school are owned by Maxwell Enterprises, your dad. Everybody was eating out of the vending machines because they thought the food in the cafeteria was making them sick. So you and your family were making money by making everyone sick. Okay, so she had a motive, but how did she do it? How did she make everyone sick? Here's how. No way, is he all right? <laughs> and it worked. Well, I gotta go. Bye, Mom. What happened? Little brothers. Spare me. What did he do? Yeah, what'd he do? Is there an echo in here? Let's see. So what really happened? He ate some berries off a bush outside our house. My mom gave him Ipecac to make him throw up. Ricky told me all about it in total detail. Gag. You look really bad. I know. You put Ipecac in everyone's water to make them think that the food in the cafeteria was contaminated. And then your dad would make money off the vending machines and you would get to go to modeling school this summer. How did you know that? I heard you and Riley talking about it in chemistry. Okay, so even if you guys are right, which you're not, how would I even get this ippy cack or whatever you call it? Well, remember this? Why are you looking so guilty, Brad? For all we know, you put the note up. I got sick, remember? And I helped Nurse Betty with the other sick kids. We found this in Mia's room. Nurse Betty checked her supplies, and she's missing a couple bottles of ippy cack. Busted! Okay, this is terrible. Makes you hurl. Toss your cookies. Up, Chuck. Barfood. Okay, you girls can all go now. I will deal with Mia. You can go too, Riley. I won't believe she did it. No matter how much proof there is. Thanks, Riley. <laughs>